Praise the Lord, family of God. God is good all the time and all the time. God is good. And we thank him for another day. We're back again studying the book of Philippians. And so let's pick up in verse 26, but get the context. I'm going to start with verse 25. Hallelujah. And being confident of this, I know that I shall remain and continue with you all for your progress and joy of faith, that your rejoicing for me may be more abundant in Jesus Christ by my coming to you again. And so here we see the Apostle Paul, hallelujah, who is hard pressed between uh, departing with Christ, which is far better, or staying uh, on the earth to minister to uh, the Gentiles who he has now established in the faith by teaching them the gospel of grace. And so here we see the Apostle Paul uh, telling the Philippians, hallelujah, that he wants them uh, to rejoice. Okay? He wants them to rejoice when he comes to see them again. But the rejoicing that he wants them to partake in is not for him coming to see them again, but the object of their affection, the object of their rejoicing is rejoicing in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You see, that's the thing. Okay, what is the object of our rejoicing? Hallelujah. Paul is always focused on exalting Christ, having Christ be uh, the focal point of all of our boasting, of all of our rejoicing. Why? Because we're his child. We're children of God. And let me just say this, I want to make a distinction, just to clear the air, because there's a lot of misconceptions. You see, we are all God's creation, meaning everybody that's on the planet, right? we're all God's creation, but we are not all his children, okay? We're not all children of God, okay? Uh, the Bible makes that clear, because Jesus, when he walked on the earth 2,000 years ago, and he came and spoke to the most religious people who ever lived, okay, the Pharisees, right? They had religion down to a science, okay? And he, he, he confronted the Pharisees and he said, you know what? You are of your father, the devil, and the lust of your father, you will do because he's a murderer, right? And he's a murderer from the beginning. So the most religious people who ever lived, the Pharisees, who had religious religion down to a science, God said, that their father was the devil so we're we're not all god's children <laughs> okay the devil has many children you see we only become children of god okay by faith in jesus christ that's why it's what it's praise king jesus what's the object of our affection what's the object of our rejoicing hallelujah and paul makes that clear that the object of the philippians rejoicing was to be abundant in jesus christ Okay, we have to praise Jesus Christ at all times. Let his praise continually be in our lips. So when Paul came back to see the Philippian believers, they were going to rejoice in abundance in Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ was the one who would lead Paul back to minister unto the Philippian believers. So whenever God, hallelujah, okay, whenever God is working in and through our lives, which is all the time, we're to rejoice and we're to have an abundant uh, boasting about how good he is, hallelujah, about uh, what he does, about uh, how he's fulfilled his promise and how he has uh, done this, that, and the third and everything else in between because everything good and perfect comes from him. And so I want us to focus, hallelujah, on the object of our rejoicing. And when we focus on the object of our rejoicing, which is who? praising King Jesus, when we focus on the object of our rejoicing, the line of the tribe of Judah, well, we're in good company, hallelujah. <laughs> we're in good company because his praise is on our lips. And as we praise him, hallelujah, as the song say, uh, when we praise him, the blessings come down. When we praise his name, when we lift him up on high, hallelujah, when we think about him, when we exalt him, when we say hallelujah, which is the highest praise, hallelujah, <laughs> God is well pleased because he's the object of our rejoicing. So whatever we're doing, hallelujah, whenever God fulfills his word, whenever he brings something to pass, hallelujah, 
whenever he wakes us up, okay, whenever he gives us food, whenever we read the word, whenever uh, we do what we do 24-7, let his praise, let his exaltation, let our rejoicing in him be always to the praise of his glory because he's worthy of all of our praise. Hallelujah. You see, it's all about him. It's all about Jesus because he's adopted us. He's adopted us, right? He's adopted us into his family. And because he's given us adoption, because he's adopted us, hallelujah, because he did not leave us orphans, because we have become his children by faith in his name, how can we not rejoice? How can we not have abundant rejoicing in his name? Because God is so good, you see? And so we need these reminders, hallelujah. We need these reminders every day. You know, because, you know, when we go about our day, <laughs> when we out here in the world, when we doing this, that, and the third, out here amongst um, this fallen, sin-sick world, you know, sometimes them fiery darts are shot. And sometimes them fiery darts make us look that way and look that way to get our focus off of him. And then we start focusing on the darts. We start focusing on the slippery paths. We start focusing on... Uh, you know, the obstacles instead of focusing on Jesus and then where's our praise at? Our praise is non-existent. Our rejoicing is non-existent because now we're saying, hey, look at that dart. Hey, look at that obstacle. Hey, look at this trouble. Hey, look at that. Instead of focusing our attention on Jesus at all times. You see, uh, it's easier said than done, but as long as we continue to say it, Hallelujah. So they could be on the forefront of our mind because our minds are being renewed. We're not being conformed to this world, but we're being renewed in our minds day after day. Well, it gets easier and easier to rejoice in him always, to have his praise always on our lips, to always say hallelujah, to go about our day 24-7 thinking about Jesus Christ because it's all about him. He's the only one who can keep us in perfect peace. He's the only one that is worthy of to receive our rejoicing in abundance because of how good he is, because he's adopted us. Hallelujah. You are a child of God, saint of God, if you know Jesus Christ. Rejoice. And again, I say rejoice. Hallelujah. So give God praise today and forevermore. And I thank you for continuing to uh, go through the book of Philippians. We're just doing short teachings, going verse by verse. And just letting the Holy Spirit encourage us, uh, reprove us, uh, exhort us, rebuke us when needed. And to always uh, bring to remembrance, you know, the goodness of Jesus. Because ain't God good? If God's good, say hallelujah. Hallelujah. So until we talk again, Lord willing, tomorrow, if he tarries, see you here, we'll see you there. I see you in the air. Maranatha. Amen.